I've never seen, I don't think I've seen him hit many. Gonna see one now though from Kiz. Not bad. Need some help. Need some backup. Oh, that's, that's shocking. Oh, sh Ooh. He likes to shoot off both feet. At least on Thursday night. Go on, ball in again. We've got goals to back and no time to lag. Up the tags. All right, guys, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. You thought the season was over. Well, guess what? We've got another game for you. It's men's reserve action today. It's a cup final, no less. Here at Great Wakering, the ground we know quite well. Our under 12 goals won the Essex Cup final here just last week. We're back trying to win more silverware. I've got LP with me. Lou, what do you want to see from the reserves today? Hopefully some more silverware. I yes. mean, for me, my colleagues are playing. So we've got Stampy, we've got Eddie in the yep. side. Kier's obviously um, the first team player and manager. Um, hopefully some connections there. And uh, yeah, hopefully a W. Yeah, we'd love to end the season on a high. It's our last senior game of the season. Also, shout out to our development men's team who won their league for the second year in a row yesterday. So they've been promoted again. So there's a lot of good things happening around the club. Uh, also, our women's reserves won their reserve league this year. Shout out to them. We know that our women's first team won the Essex Cup as well. Unfortunately, they won't be getting promoted because they, on the final day, missed out by one point. So let's end the season on a high. Let's get a win for the reserves, a trophy, and let's see what team... I was going to say Devs is sending out, but let's see what team <laughs> Kiers is sending out, including himself. So, in goal, we have Jack Gannon. In defence, centre-back, we have got Marcus Stamp, our very own, alongside Brandon Chapman, decent centre-back partnership. Left-back, we have Matas Skerner, the man who was attacked by a firework and has recovered. And he plays in at left-back today. Right-back, we have Nathan Wilson. Three-man midfield, strong midfield, uh, triple threat. We have Kiernan Hughes-Mason, the reserve team, player manager. We have Iola Adebayo, a player we know well from the first team, of course. And we have Johnny Van Dyke, another talented option. And then going forward, we've got our very own Eddie Cooper starting on the left. Captain Tommy Sykes on the right, leaving Rujon Tuit as the lone striker. On the bench, we have Tommy Kilcast, Brad Bunker, Ali Alnezi and Joel Bevan. Up the tags. And hashtag United get us underway in the yellow and blue Against White and Zion reserves here in the white, blue and red here in this plate cup final. Corner going to come in here for the tags. Eddie Cooper's going to take it. Imagine if we get a, a goal assisted by Eddie, scored by Stampy. It'd be a star flinker. That, that'd be fantastic. Ball back in from Eddie. Could it be now? Stampy puts it back in. Adebayo tries to control it. Shot there from Tommy Sykes. The skipper Van Dyke improvises to keep it under. And now White and Zion could counter here. Skerner with some defending to do. Right. Cross comes in for White Ensign. Needs to be dealt with. Oh, it's a free header. Oh, it's gone into the keeps there as well. I think the flag was up before that anyway. Yeah, it was. Is it offside? Adebayo with the ball in here. Oh, he almost dropped for Van Dyke. It's going to come to Tommy Sykes, though. He's going to want it on his left foot, though. Goes back to Nathan. Can Nathan deliver? It's not a bad ball at all. If anyone challenges Eddie Cooper, it's going to come to Adebayo at the back. Good pace here from the man on the right for White Ensign, though. Rouge on Denis. Yeah, done, done well that's there. A, that's a great win there, to be fair. One of our big promotion rivals in the Furlough None, weren't they? Yeah. Now they're sitting in the Essex Senior League themselves. Had a few players that have played for them. Yeah, Tim, Tim Pittman. Tim Pittman being one of them. Yeah. Oh, it's not bad, you know. If Van Dyke can get on this ball from Sykes and put it in early. Wants it back on his right foot, though. Just maybe overcomplicates it there. Left footed cross could work. Here is a left footed player in Skerner getting forward. Just gets the ball stuck under his feet, but he's still got it. Up against the white inside right back. Can he find a player? Rujon to Adebayo. Adebayo shaping up to deliver. Does deliver. Cleared by the big centre back. Eddie Cooper, our referee. That's an absolute collision. It's a collision, but. I think is if it was um, any one of our boys, I'd be not fair play. Great challenge. Did he actually get the ball though? I this is the thing. I think it looked like he got the ball and the player. I've never seen. I don't think I've seen him hit many. Going to see one now though from Kiz. Not bad. Oh, it's off the post. Can't believe it. And the keeper was beat for me. I think there. No, he was. What a chance though. He said Kiz wanted one before the game, and that was ever so close. Didn't have a lot of power on it. Had but it had a, the perfect sort of amount of curvature. Well, not quite perfect, obviously, but. Got up and over nicely there. Small margins, a few more inches, and that's in off the post. Kick from the white end zone. Goalkeeper Van Dyke got to be yeah, careful with the hands. Out. Hooked on. Stampy, well done. Good battle between Stampy and the number nine today. Oh, my God, he does not want this. 
He does not. Well done, to be fair. That's exactly what I'd have done there. Got to just get rid. That was a horrible pass back. Kim's Here we go, well. Kiz. Opens up. Looks for Rujon. He's going to get through to him. Just slows things down to put it back on his right, but could get the shot off. Really good defending. You wonder, Lou, if he goes through on his left there, is that goal time? Yeah, but they're in. The white end zone could be in on the counter here. They've got a man at the back post. Chapman just going to look to hold him up. Stampy gets an important touch to it. It's That's got to be a foul off. there. Ref's not giving it. Just gave the thumbs up and let, let it play. Ref! Oh, it's all kicking off. Corner, Eddie Cooper curling it in. It's going to go beyond Adebayo. Stampy rises. Difficult one to get goal bound with the defender in between him and the goal. Throw in. Big throw once again. Got to watch out for that. It's been allowed to bounce to the box. Oh, and it's going to go in. That's really poor defending. You can't... Well, first of all, we've got to identify that long throw, and it's not the first time they've done it. Second of all, you can't let it bounce in the box. Criminal. No, it's a shame. I mean, considering we've hit the post in this game, we've had a few chances as well. Um, the Bob was let us down, but yeah, defending was not great on that one. And their throw-ins are going to be almost like free kicks or corners with that long throw. You can, either, you can never let it bounce any, any day, but on this pitch especially, it could kill you, which it did there. So we're 1-0 down, and we've got work to do. I mean, Matas has got a bit of space here. It's pinged in. Headed away, Matas is lining it up. Hits it one, sort of the worst shot. And that's what we need to do, get them bouncing like that. No, I agree. Eddie Cooper doing well here to rise some challenges. Put the ball over the top for Sykes, who's onside. Can he get one in? Rujon busting a gut to try and get in there. Good hands from the keeper in the end. No, he's done well to even get a shot on target there. He's used his left foot and just obviously not got enough power on it. And the keeper was ready on his favoured side. Chapman. Looking for Sykes. Come on, win that. Come on, win that. Advantage played. Skirner. Into Rujon. Rujon just pop it off to somebody. Wow. Oh, bloody hell. To me. He might get one here. He, he might will. get yellow. Yeah. Kears. Gonna whip this one in. Can Stampy challenge it? It's a Chapman header. Yeah. It's in. I tell you what, keeper's got a hand to it and he nearly pulled out an unbelievable save. But really good header from the young defender, Brandon Chapman. We're back in it, Lou, 1-0. No, it's a fantastic ball in and, a, and an even better header. I mean, it's exactly what we need before half-time as well. And I think we, we've been um, due a goal in this game. Obviously, we've hit the post and it's great to see him put one in. Really good time to score. I think that's a fair score line at the moment, 1-0. I think White Ensign have troubled us a few times going forward, especially that long throw. But we've been in and around their box as well. Adebayo on the bed, on the edge, if you can see him, Rouge. Go to Van Dijk. Can he deliver? Need some help. Need some backup. Oh, that's, that's shocking. Oh, sh Ooh. oh, Van Dijk, can you get yourself in trouble here, mate? Come on, Johnny. He's kicked Could out. see a red there. There's no need for it because you've got yourself a free kick already. Could see a red there. And the lads rolled over, made a real meal of it. He's kicked him first, though, I think. I didn't, yeah. I didn't see the first kick, but don't ruin the spectacle of the game here. It's one all final give them both a yellow and we move on absolute stinker there Kears come on if we can get a goal now it'd be a great time to score keeper doesn't want anything to do with that one go on Sykes puts his head in the line Rouge oh good Aww. hands in the end and the keeper we've got a real uphill battle now with 10 men they have got a few more yellows than us so it's worth trying to get at that Kier sends it back in. It's going to blow up for half time as well. So we thought we'd had the, the last sort of laugh right before the break by getting a goal. But in fact, it's us that have hurt ourselves with that red card. Meaning that the 45 minutes to come is going to be a real challenge for the tags. But it's all to play for at one all. Back underway here for the second half. We know it's going to be a big challenge in 45 for the tags now. After the red card madness means we are down to 10. Free kick then for White Enzyme. They've got two players standing over it, but it's going to be the right footer who hits it. Hits it reasonably well. And I'll tell you what, it's a really good and important save from Jack Gannon in goal there. Had to be saved. Top class save there of the left hand. Can't let them go in the lead with the man advantage. Kiers. Is Another good delivery. Go on, get it on Stampy's bonds. Bit of backspin on that. It's going to fall to Stampy. He can actually hit them better than that. He likes to shoot off both feet. At least on Thursday night. Go on, ball in again. Oh, it's nearly a second goal for Chapman getting forward. I think he might have taken a, a yeah, hit to the face. Yeah, he might be 
in the process. He's putting himself about, though. No, he is, mate. I mean, that was a great ball into the box as well. Hopefully he's OK. Just unable to sort of flick it around and into the goal. But well done, Brandon Chapman. Jack Gallon with the kick. Adebayo, nice flick. Sykes, can you set someone? Can't get past the player. Stampy sends it forward. Adebayo on the turn. It's not a bad ball at all for Eddie Cooper from Adebayo. Great first touch from Eddie. Oh, he's just got away from him there, though. Nearly a fantastic switch of play leading to a potential chance there. Reminded me a little bit of the Brooks Waldridge move in the final game of the season for the first team. Wilson puts it across, gets the corner, and that's better from the tags. It's another one, one of those moments where the pitch has really killed us there. If, if it's another game played at another ground, that, that could potentially be a goal. And I think we've seen around two or three of them in this game already. I think the first touch from Eddie was great, though. It was just the second oh, yeah, and third, the second, wasn't it? Yeah. Just bobbled up. And just cut. I, I think if you get a first touch out your feet and you're within like 20 yards of the goal, just hit it. Can you get it under? Rujon gets the shot off. It's that bloody number five again. He's there, mate. He's there. He's everywhere. Good delivery, Kiers. That's a great ball. Chapman might be in there. Oh, it's bounced from his chest. It's Stampy. No. It's a really good save, I think. Keepers closed down Stampy so quickly and the left-footed shot was denied. Oh, what a moment that would be for Stampy to be the hero. Yeah, it, was, it would have been huge. Love that, Matas. Don't get yourself in trouble here, though. He has done. Stampy's going to have to get across. Good, Stampy. Ref. Left every time. That's the number three. Second time, ref. Got to give him a card there. For me personally, Stampy's got to clear that. Adebayo on the ball. Come on. I feel like we're going to do this. We've definitely had the better of the second half. Wow. Ball is really good. Unfortunately, couldn't make it through to Brad Bunker. Sykes heads it back in. Good closing down from Bunker. Adebayo's going to keep it in. Gives it to Brad. Brad flicks it to Tommy Sykes. And he gets shot off on the left foot. Not enough power on that. It's not bad football, though, is it, Spen? It's better, isn't it? It's good. What well, inside now, though? Chicken to impose themselves in the, the game. Sykes, just flick that one on. Here we go. Brad, can you switch it? Oh, he's done well here, Brad, to find some space on the right. There's a lot of white shirts between him and Rujon, but Rujon is free at the back post. Good ball in! A little bit further in front of Rujon than it looked like it was from our angle. Oh, and the pass back from Rujon is careless. Stampy's going to have to come in big here. You know what? He does enough just to make it hard for the player. Thrown in. Wow. Good touch from the nine. Chapman's up against him. Into the 13, looks to just find some space. Hits it on the left foot, could have been dangerous, Lou. It's probably the best chance of this half for them, I'd say. Oh, Kears has gone for the challenge. He's not quite made it. And we are getting a little bit uh, penned in now. Chance for a shot here. He's hit one. Oh, you know what? It looked like it was goal bound, but keeper dealt with it fairly easily in the end. Man offside in the middle. Oh, chance. Are they onside? Are they onside? Oh, what a, what save. a save. I thought that was going to go underneath him, Lou. No, absolutely fantastic save. It's a shame because the defensive line did not look good there. Kiz, can we go and nick one here? Just we're not putting two passes together at the minute. And that is a full-time whistle. The positives, Lou, are that we're still in it. We've, we've rode the storm of having a man less for a whole 45 minutes. And we actually did well for probably the first half an hour of that half, but then we dropped off a bit. No, agreed. I think Paul and uh, Kiz will probably be happy with dragging it out into uh, extra time. but There's more players down for them than us, oh, though, right now, right. in terms of tiredness. Extra time next. Big 30 minutes ahead for the tags. Can we hold off? Hopefully it's not going to continue as the second half ended, which was backs to the wall, Jobby. Searching ball for the number nine. He might get there before the keeper. You know what? He's going to score. Oh, my God. Do you know what I'll say? Fair play to him, because if he goes down there, I think he gets a red card for our goalkeeper. Mm. And he didn't, because he thought he could score. And he missed by the narrowest of margins. So let off there. A fast start from them. It's just going to be... I think it's going to be more of the same. It's going to be them just coming at us for the whole of extra time here. Unless Kears can slip in Sykes. He just loses his footing. Does find him, though. Tommy Sykes. Give it back to Kears if you want. Cuts inside. Looking for Brad. Not a bad ball. Just needed a defensive error, though. Here we go. Rujon might need to take any chances we get now. He's thinking about a shot. Handball. It's bounced against the white inside player. It's going to come across to Kiz. Kiz should keep this in. Come on, Kiz. He does. Can he deliver? No one's really set up for it. 
Brad Bunker does get <gasps> ahead on it though. Oh! And the keeper's not held on to that one. He's been showing us a little bit of that all game. Some uncertainty about his goalkeeping skills. We just haven't tested him enough, have we? To be fair, Brad Bunker's done pretty well from a standing position there, but he could have been a bit more alive to that mm. one. Oh, well, that's a foul there. He's pushed get him. Up, get up, Tommy. Get up. Adebayo on the edge. Does he think about getting a shot off here? He is. He's going to hit it. Oh, this is why we've got a fellow hitting on this keeper. It's another one, Smenny. It's he another one he's it. dropped. Get rid of Stamp. Well done, Stamp. Rouge on. Go on then, Sykes. Great area. Can you get there? Unfortunately for Sykes, he's up against the substitute. He's got some energy. Go on, referee! Ref! Nothing in it was there, let's be honest. There it is. Right, half time and extra time. Still one all. We're going to quickly get reset and go again. 15 more minutes if you're still level. Penalties. Second half underway. Stampy's gone off. Adebayo's dropped into centre-back. Joel Bevan is on in the middle. Fresh legs. Get it to Joel. Adebayo. He's got Ali to your left. Player coming. Fizzed it at Rouge on. Deals with it. Into Joel. Back to Rouge on. Can we deliver? Can we get it in there? Oh, it's just got to go in. Do you know Joel Bevan reminds you of Alex Dagnowski? Looks like him, doesn't he? In fact. Come on, boys. Oh, that's going all the way through, surely. Good. Straight to Rujon. Can you get it to Joel? I played first time over the top there, Rujon. Now they've got numbers forward. There's a man at the back post. Still the right back coming forward here. The left foot is short. That's over. Here we go. It's very low, driven in towards Bevan. Adebayo on the edge here. Can he get a shot off? He's hitting it. It's unfortunately blocked by the uh, white ensign player. Adebayo into Sykes here. Sykes. That's a foul. No it? foul given. That's well, a foul. The second's Lino's, a foul. I think the second I mean, was a foul. Lino's got a way, way better view than us, but I thought it looked like a decent challenge. Kears to deliver. Come on. Decent delivery, Kears. Oh, it's going to sit up nicely. It's in. Yes. Brad Bunker with the goal. Kears with the assist. An extra time goal. Could be a cup winning goal. That's fantastic. Another great ball in and an assist for Kears. And you've got to be happy. Spend, we're a man down. I mean, we've, we've held firm. It hasn't been pretty, but we've played, what, over 60 minutes now with um, a man down. I'm just watching the line, though, because the line is flagging for something. What's he going to try and say to the ref here? It's, it's not been a lot of football being played. The pitch has made it difficult, but it's a, it's a red card for the manager or one of the coaches at least of White Ensign must have said something when that goal went in he wasn't happy about there's only a few things he could say in order to get sent off that way Paul forward has not quite got in as much as it needed to but the five still wins it cleared by Iola don't let him get it under don't foul him either Bradley Bunker keep your heads boys keep your heads free kick Opportunity here. It's another half decent one, but Jack's kept this one in his hands. Throw it into the box. Flicked on by the 11. Nothing silly, boys. Get rid. Kilcast gets rid of it. Shot from distance. And yeah, it wasn't a bad connection from the five. It was a great strike from him. Great strike from the five. He's been everywhere. I mean, if they won the game, you'd give him MOM, wouldn't you? Probably. Yeah, I mean, he's been, he's been unreal. Come on, boys. Got to be solid now. Stay with him, Tommy. Come on. Yes, well done. And that's the whistle. And there we won. are. Well done. You've got to be fair to it, Lou. It wasn't an amazing game, but with 10 men for what? I mean, quite a long time. It's 75 minutes of football with 10 men. We've come out on top. It's amazing. I mean, the boys have dug deep. I think Kears and Paul should be happy. You know, we've got a man down. Um, both teams have shown signs of opportunities. I think the pitch has played a massive part on us probably not seeing as much good football and goals as we usually would. Um, and I think... My man of the match is going to go to Chapman. I yes. think he deserves it today. Brandon Chapman gets himself a goal. Solid centre-back performance from the youngster. And well done to the boys. Nice to end the season on a positive. So the reserves win the Plate Cup final. And they were very happy. Brandon, man of the match today. How does it feel? Uh, yeah, spectacular. Because after losing in the league, we needed to uh, walk away with the season with a win of some sort. So it meant a lot today.
And obviously, how does it feel? Because you actually are one of our under 18 players as well. Uh, yeah, it's a big, it was a big step up at the start, but I've stepped up and so far it's going well, so see what happens next season. I suppose you'll take that being a man down? Yes, it was tough, you know, such a long time with 10 men. It wasn't a great pitch either, but credit to the boy, they dug in really deep and they got what they deserved. You have to sort of take our hats off to you, you did manage to get two assists today. I, I wouldn't say much about that, but it is what it is. I do a part for the team. And obviously the members will know a little bit more about how much the reserves play and how they play, but can you tell us a little bit more about the lads? I mean, we're, I think we're the youngest team in the league. I think we've got about seven boys that are 16, you know, and for them to do what they've done this year, last game of the season, to lose 1-0, it's a sort of credit to them. They, they come and they work hard, they listen, and they got the rewards on the pitch, you know. We were top for so long, and then on the last day, just did it, it, it went our day. And can we be looking to win the league next season? That's the plan. Go one step further. Why not? Well, if you've enjoyed the video, guys, drop a like on it. Subscribe for more. We'll be back soon with plenty more content. Don't worry about that. We might even have a Sunday League Cup final to show you guys. I might be involved in it. So, see you soon. Up the tags.